Hey guys, welcome to DIY Crafts. In this video, I'll show you how to crochet the cap piece for the front part of star bunting, assembling part and few finishings. So, let's get started. For this, I'm again using the same 8 ply yarn and a crochet hook of size 5 mm. Now beginning with the foundationless double crochet stitch, which we have already done for the hands part. So just like that, begin with a chain 3, yarn over and insert the hook into the first stitch and make a chain. Then make a double crochet stitch. Now we have two stitches in the first row. Again yarn over, insert the hook into the base chain, make a chain 1 and then make a double stitch. Continue this procedure until you get 26 stitches in the first row. These 26 stitches, I am saying it including the first chain 2. Now that we have completed 26 stitches, now going on to the row 2, we have to make the next pattern from row 2 to row 5. For this make chain 2, turn your work and now count this chain 2 as a first DC in row 2. So skip the first stitch and now insert the hook into the second stitch and make a double stitch. That's the second one. 3, 4 and continue to make one DC over each and every stitch throughout the row until the last chain. Now after completing the 5 rows with 26 stitches in each row, this is how the cap portion looks like. Now it perfectly fits the head of the baby. So now we are going to match the remaining number of rows with the triangular shape. For that, chain 2. Now we are making in row 6. Make a 3 double stitch together. This means we are going to join first 3 stitches together. For this, make a DC halfway through in the first stitch, second and also the third one. Which makes a total of 4 loops on the hook. Now yarn over and draw through all the 4 stitches and this makes a 3 DC together. We are not counting this chain 2 as a stitch in row 6. Now make one single stitch, I mean one double stitch in each and every stitch throughout the row by leaving the last 3 stitches again. Now we are at the ending of our 6th row. So we have 3 stitches remaining. Again make a 3 DC decrease. That's DC halfway through in the 1st, 2nd and the 3rd one. Here the 3rd one is the chain 2 in previous row. Now we have 4 loops on the hook. Yarn over and draw through all the 3 and this makes a DC decrease. So for 5th and 6th rows we have decreased by 3 stitches. So this will give us the shape of a triangle. Again repeat the same process of 3 DC decrease. That's the first decrease. Now you can see the shape, it is slowly taking the shape of a triangle. Now again make one DC in each row, I mean in each stitch until you reach the last 3 stitches. Again do not count this chain 2 as a stitch. Now we are at the ending of our 7th row. Repeat the same 3 DC decrease. Now by the end of the 7th row, you will have 18 stitches. Now repeat the same pattern for row 8 and 9 and you will get 14 and 10 stitches respectively for each rows. So after making 9 rows, this is how the cap portion looks like. You can see the shape of the cap. It's very different from the triangular part. Now we'll start with row 10 for this chain 2 and yarn over. Turn your work and make 2 DC together that's a traditional normal DC decrease. 
and then make 6 DCs. I mean 1 DC in each of the next 6 stitches. And finally in the last 2 stitches we make an another DC decrease. And this completes the 10th row with 8 stitches. Now repeat the pattern of DC decrease in first 2 stitches and last 2 stitches and making 1 DC in, in each of the middle stitches just like the triangular part of the hands up to row 14. So here I am at the 14th row making a last decrease. And this completes the cap part. Make a chain 1 and trim the excess thread by leaving a 2 inch tail. Now that the cap piece is done, this is how it looks like. Now let's start assembling all the parts together. Here I have marked the front piece as 1 and the back piece as 2. Now lay down the front first one over the second in such a way that the legs portion align with each other. Then as shown in the diagram we have to join around the star with a single stitch border. Now let me show that to you in a video mode. Take the back piece and put it down with the correct side facing downwards. Now take the front piece and put it over the back piece with the correct side facing outwards. Now align both the pieces at the star points of both should align with each other. Both the star points should match with each other. Now let's join them using a single crochet border. For this, identify the V-stitch at the pentagon. And I am using a single stitch to join both. However, you can sew both, them, both of them together using a needle and yarn. I am using the same color but if you want you can use a different color to make it as a border. Now insert the hook into the V stitch of the front and back parts together. Now grab the yarn, chain 1 and start making a single stitch. While making a single stitch, include the tail end into the stitches. So this will leave the less number of tail ends to be sewed in at the end. It's just a single crochet border but remember to insert the hook through both the pieces every time and drop a loop to make a single crochet. Insert the hook and make a single crochet stitch. Now this is how the single crochet join looks like. Now continue to make a single stitch join throughout the star bunting as shown. Follow the single stitch border through the first star point down the star and to the second leg part. This completes the two faces of the star bunting. Now comes to the left hand part and here is where we have to join the triangle piece. So take the first triangular piece and put it over the back piece. Now continue to join single crochet along the line. After completing the right hand part, we will get to the head part. That's the flip open part of front. This is the head portion where we have to add the cap piece. You can identify the shape difference between the hand and the cap pieces. Now continue to join along the cap piece through the outline of the star. This is the way you are going to join through the top and back. And then finally you will come to the other hand part where we have to add the second triangular piece. Put it over and join throughout the outline until you reach the starting point where we have started the single stitch border. 
so here i am after completing the assembling part this is the cap piece to put the baby head into it this is the flip open part now the two triangular pieces to put the hands inside that's the flip open of the front part and back side we have the back part and the two legs parts attached completely so this is the assembling part and now let's make few finishings that is we need to close the flip open on either side of the hands using few buttons and for this we need to add two more rows on the left and right side now i am working on the left hand side draw the yarn through the first stitch include the tail end and make chain 3 i'm not counting this chain 3 as a stitch now make a triple crochet decrease that is two stitches together using a triple crochet make a tc halfway through in the first stitch and the second stitch we'll have three loops now make a decrease this gives the shape to align with the triangular shape of the hand now make two more uh, triple crochet stitches in the next two stitches that's the first triple crochet stitch now making the second triple crochet this makes a total of three stitches that's the first tc decrease and two tc's now make chain one leave one stitch at the base and make a triple crochet stitch into the next stitch that's the hole we use to put the button into it and we'll sew the button to the hand part now continue to make a triple crochet stitches throughout the row so now we have left with five more stitches now what we have to do is chain one skip one stitch and to create a hole for the button and now make a triple crochet stitch in the next stitch that's the first triple crochet make another one and now for the last two stitches make a decrease Now skip the last stitch then to add a stiffness to the flip part I'm going to make another row for this make chain one turn your work and make one single crochet stitch throughout the row including the holes part so this adds a little bit of stiffness to the flip open part of the star bunting After completing this part, repeat the same pattern on the other side of the hand as well. This is the left, left hand side part. We have two holes for the buttons and the shape exactly aligned with the hand part. Now repeat the same pattern on the right hand side as well. Here it is done on the right hand side as well. We have two holes for buttons and two holes on the other side and we are not adding any rows for the neck part. Now let's add some buttons to it. If you want you can add some fancy buttons to it. If not you can make it with your yarn for making button. Begin with the magic ring. Of course using the same yarn and a hook now chain 2 and start making 15 double crochet stitches into the center which means this chain 2 also acts as a DC which makes a total of 16 stitches for the button 
after completing all the 16 double crochet stitches I mean the chain 2 and 15 DCs make a slip stitch into the first stitch now make chain 1 close this magic ring to close the button chain 1 and fasten off the excess thread leave a long tail in order to add this button to the star bunting and this completes the button now make these in four number as we have four holes for the bunting attach them using this tail end and a sewing needle or a yarn needle just to make sure that you sew them exactly at the position where you have kept the hole and attach it to the hand part I'll share the written pattern of different sizes in my website. Do check it out. The link is given in the description. And that's it. A beautiful star sleep bag for kids is ready. I hope you all enjoyed watching this tutorial. Do give it a try and let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. See you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, share it and subscribe to DIY Crafts.